Hello everyone, today I want to show you our Excel chart trick of how to make a chart uh, with broken axes and bars, like the one that we're showing on the right. Um, so the user case is actually something like this. So as an HR consultant myself, um, I come across um, many cases where I find that I'm dealing with data with different skills, yet I have to show them on the same chart. So for example, this is a very simple um, table showing the headcount for different departments. But then this operation department has over 1500 of employees, but then the other departments are showing relatively like small population. So if we just show it as it is, um, it doesn't really look nice, right? So it, it is much better if we just show them with a broken axis and bars here so that um, they look much more pleasant um, compared to the one to the left. So um, I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One is uh, more easier and one is more simple. One is more complicated. So it's up to you um, which one to use depending on your case. So let's start. Uh, with the simple method first. So um, let's do this, uh, do the one without the scale first. So that's like an easy bar chart that we're looking at here. And then just let's just make it here as a reference. Um, and then the, actually the first step that we need to do is uh, to plan how we want this bar look compared to the to the other ones. So to do that, actually, you can just copy the chart that we just did and then and then paste it to the right. Um, but then instead, uh, instead of having it referencing the head count um, t uh, column, let's reference like basically you have them selected and then you just move it to the adjusted head count, which is a column that you're going to play out with. Um, alternatively, um, you can also do something like um, selecting the bars that you have and then select data, go to Siri, um, the Siri that the data see you and then add it. Um, and then in the when you click in the Siri value, you sh see that um, it's referencing this column. Just um, well, actually make sure you have it clean and then select the adjusted head count here. And then it's going to show it as um, the scale that we have here. So um, I'm just showing you an alternative way to do it. So, OK, so this is how it's looking like right now. So I, I've highlighted here as yellow because this is the uh, data that's so much more different than compared to the other ones. So the other ones are all below 200, but this one uh, it's like over a thousand. It's almost it's more than 50 times of the HR population. So it's uh, it will be up to you of how drastically different you want this bar to look compared to the other ones. For example, for 300, this is how it's going to look roughly. But then let's say if I want it to look less dramatic, then you can put 200. And then you can see it's less dramatically different compared to the other ones. And you know what? If you want it to be even more different, you put like 500. And then this one's going to look even uh, larger compared to the other ones. So it's a it's actually a just personal preference of how you want it to look. For me, um, I just decided to look around 300 there. OK, so that's the scale I want to look like. Uh, I want it to look like. Um, and then basically I want to uh, beautify my uh, my bars. So I al always want it to be wider. Um, so to do that, I go to gap walls and then I have it around 80. Like I, I just think I like it better that way. Um, and then now if you add, like select your bars again and then right click, uh, add data label. And then you can see it's adding the label of the adjusted headcount that you you want, and that is not the real headcount. You want you want it to show the real headcount, right? So then what you do is select the data series, make sure every single data is selected, and then you go to format. Uh, it's selecting series one data labels and the format selection. And then you can see on the right you have the label options. So for this you actually need to click value from cells, which allow you to select the data label range. And then this is when you select the real headcount. 
like this, and then you go OK, and then it's gonna look like this. And this is because you have the value and show leader line selected. So you know what? Just unselect it, and then now it's showing the real headcount for you. And then you can make it like bold. Um, I always make my data label bold so it's standing out. Okay, so now we have um, we have the bars, and then we have the right data label. So let's create the break. Um, the break shape. So to do that, um, you can actually just do it by insert a shape like that. And then um, what you do is you go format. Um, I want it to be filled with white um, or whatever color that's identical to the background of your chart. And this is now is how it's looking like. And then I add a line to it, to the top and the to the top and the bottom of the chart, and then you can see those two squares. And then I go format my shape, uh, and then I want to change my line to some darker color, and I want it to be um, 1.5, so that you can see like it's actually um, thin, uh, thicker. Uh, yeah, I want it to be 1.75, and then I select this line, copy, paste, and then make sure I have it overlap the bottom as well. So now I have those two all covered, and I select the shape again, and then I want to get rid of the outline, so I say no outline. So my shape basically look like this. So I have three parts. I have the two lines. You have control selected, and then you select the three parts, and then right click group, and then group. So that is the breakout shape that you're gonna use for your for both your uh, your bar and your axis. So okay, so now let's move like reshape it to whatever that fits your bar, and then change the position a little bit. I want it to be around like a, approximately forty five degrees, and now I have it here, and then I just move it to wherever my bar is. Um, and then you can just adjust the shape to whatever that's appropriate for you. And then here you go. So that's how it's looking like broke for you. And then select the shape again, copy, paste. So you have another one and then just shake it, uh, sh shrink a little bit and then put it across the uh, axis because um, actually, you know, what you can see like um, we have a data of around 153. So we want the 153 still to be the same scale, 200 to be the same scale. But then for those three labels above, we want it to be about a thousand. Uh, so um, there's a the simple way to do this is actually just put text box into over this and overwrite it. Um, but there's also another more complicated way to do it. So let me do do it with the simple way uh, first. So you insert um, a white box to cover the original um, text first, and then you put in your text box. You know what? Actually, text box. Put a text box. Make sure. Uh, there's no um, background, no white background, no line. And then let's say you want it to be like a thousand. Uh, make sure it's the same size of text as your other axis. So I know it's Calibri uh, size nine. And then I have it set up and then I just put it here. And then I would do another one, which look like one fifteen hundred and then I have another one that's looking like two thousand. Okay, so actually this is how a simple version of how to make it a broke access in bars. Um, and I'll show you how to do uh, the more uh, complicated one in a sec. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.